the teacher for that and they are considering each and every student as their kids and they are supporting in all the angles and whatever the subject matter is there all teachers they are helping students to learn from the base so i am requesting you if you are interested then definitely join us again throughout the year we'll continue our lecture so dear students today we are learning the most important uh, the subject or you may say most important bursting subject that is the ozone here today we are learning greenhouse effect as well as ozone how ozone is formed and how ozone depletion is taking place and how this ozone layer is very very important to earth so students will go to our whiteboard then we will start so first we will start with green house effect so in step standard already you learn what is green house effect how ozone is important now first we will see what is green house effect here you may be observed in the park a big shed is to be created with a polythene and in this polythene cover they are growing different kinds of plants usually the flowering plants and also vegetables are also grown there and here whatever sunlight is passing through this polythene cover it is entering inside that shed and the shed will be heated and when this heating process is there that time the radiation will not go out of that shed and the heat is retained inside the shed and the shed becomes hot and this heat it helps plants to grow rapidly so in this way this one only we are calling it as greenhouse effect and let us see the earth this earth at stratosphere level here it is surrounded by one of the layer what you are found it as ozone layer and this ozone cover it is protecting us from the sunlight say for example sun he is radiating energy that energy is passing through the ozone layer and finally it is reaching to the earth now during this process if suppose the sun is passing 100% energy to the earth then this ozone layer actually filters filters all ultraviolet rays and that 99% of the sunlight is radiated back to the cosmos only 1% is passing through this layer and this 1% is reaching to the earth and what the earth is doing the earth is absorbing a small amount of sunlight and the earth is heated and that heat is retained inside the ozone layer and that heat is badly required to keep earth warm so in this way the ozone layer is very very helpful to the earth and also it is protecting from the ultraviolet rays which are harmful to all organisms so all this 99% is radiated back to the cosmos only 1% the earth is receiving sunlight by that the earth is heated and heat is 
retained and that heat helps all organisms to survive. So, in this way, also land is very, very important to us. Now, what human beings are doing? The human beings, they are using different kinds of their own creations or instruments or the materials which they are required for their comfort. Say for example, the refrigerators, the coolers, etc. What they are using, they are containing CLCs. So, what is this CLC? It is chlorofluorocarbons. And these chlorofluorocarbons, they are containing chlorine. They get 
sapete quindi uomo aiva amri uomo this is an atom this is a compound this is an oxygen and this is an elemental form so they are separated this is due to the chlorine also the same thing happens now also more molecular in the lava ये मोर पाइलेट के ऊपर हो, क्लोरीन जैसे संपर्क का बंदा है, दे गेट सेपरेट है, सो लाइक दिस द बोस ऑफ़ द ऑक्सीजन पॉइंट्स आर सेपरेटेड है, एंड देन व्हाट इस आपने आफ्टर दिस व्हाट इट इस द सिंगल मॉलिक्यूल्स आर देयर द सिंगल मॉलिक्यूल्स दे आर कंबाइन्ड टू द डबल मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ़ � so in this way ozone is balancing itself and it is recreating itself so this is the natural process so the use of CFC whatever is there it is hazardous and it is resulting depletion in the ozone layer in the end of the day the ozone layer is not the same the ozone layer is not the same so because of that you are also being ozone hole and Antarctic region. Now some of the videos are there with me. We will discuss the same thing with our videos. First we will start with the greenhouse effect. So this is greenhouse effect. Just we will go to the video. See to it. Now, we are observing this video. Here, everywhere you can see an ice. If suppose, earth is not heated. If sunlight is not reaching to the earth, then every part of the earth used to be icy. Yalla kare, ye burko yima kavar maan bittu. Adhrita, ayy boomi heat out of the processor nu ene kala, baras ki important. Just see to it. Now, this child is asking that the tree, which is barren, is asking, why are you shivering? Nino, ya kadatta kya kare, ye babu yudh do, asmasya vana kyer kare. Now, see here. Now, see. Before, before the shivering, there was a sun. Sun was producing energy, that heat. The plant was receiving heat. So after that, it was flourishing very well. So, this is before. And after what is happening, just see. Now the child is asking, I will go and check what happened. He is not going to die. 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 This child is coming and it is going to a son now. Just see. So this is the earth, earth is shivering, okay? So the child is asking, what happened? He might go. So the earth is shivering, now it is like this. Before that, 
house like this. Before I used to get a sun rays and a part of sun rays they are reaching to us and saying the greenhouse gases were there and the greenhouse gases they were protecting us so as in the, the sunlight needs to travel inside and some part of the sun energy that heat I used to absorb so because of that absorption See here, a part of the sun rays is absorbed by the earth and after absorption they get heated. Just see. So earth is heating and because of that the extra heat is going out of the earth and it is entering into the space. And these are the greenhouse gases. So, in the examination, in which way is the competitive exam, whether it is CET, NEET, JE, or uh, some, uh, some of the UPSC exams, KPSC exams, everywhere, such type of questions are asked, which are greenhouse gases. Now see, the greenhouse gases are here, nitrous oxide, methane, and carbon dioxide. These are three greenhouse gases. Which are those? Nit nitrous oxide, methane, and carbon dioxide. Now see. This is methane. It is making the shield. Nitrous oxide, it is also making the shield. Now see. A part of reflected rays is Travel by greenhouse gases. Whatever the reflected rays are there, they are a part is trapped by these three. That is these three gases, or what we are calling them as the greenhouse gases. And then because of those gases, the earth is very comfortable. Now these trapped radiations of the sun, uh, which warms the earth. And they are producing all these three gases. They are producing the protective layer. What we are calling it as the greenhouse gas. So, this is carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide. These are three greenhouse gases. Remember this. in a greenhouse nursery child says no ok I will show you now see here we are entering into the nursery <coughs> and nursery the constructed shed you are observing so this is a shed where you are growing different kinds of plants there and whatever sunlight is coming, it will be trapped. Just see, the child is entering into the greenhouse, a greenhouse in the park. Just see. Now sun rays, they are coming down, they are entering into the greenhouse shed. And then it is heated. The heat will not be escaped out. Just see. The heat is trying to escape, but it is not escaping out. It is hidden inside. It cannot go out. So, the trapped heat warms the greenhouse gas. So, the warmth you are observing, I don't know how this heat is useful to you. Just see, because of this heat, it is very hot inside, which I will say, okay, because heat is trapped. Now see, the plant growth is observed there, because optimum temperature is required for the growth of the plant. So, plants are flourishing. See, 
in a greenhouse the sun's heat can come in but cannot go out and the trapped heat warms the greenhouse similarly as these gases trap the sun's heat they are called greenhouse gases they are trapping so we are calling them as greenhouse gases Greenhouse gases by nursing. Now, if there were no greenhouse gases to trap the sun's radiation, what would have been happen? It used to be very cold everywhere, and it used to be ice covered. So, the earth would be very cold place where we would not survive. So, for that purpose, the warmth or heat is required for the earth. Is formed. And here the oxygen molecule 
is split into oxygen atoms. So oxygen molecule is split in and forming the oxygen atoms. So ozone forms where the oxygen atom bonds to it and oxygen molecule. Where oxygen molecule is that that oxygen atom is coming and forming the ozone layer. Ozone is formed. Then in the sense. Two molecules of oxygen combine to combine with one molecule of uh, other oxygen atom to form ozone. So in this way, the ozone molecules are synthesized. So ozone and salt are combined radiation. Ozone is absorbing all our combined radiations. So and it is protecting us from the ultraviolet impacts. So after that. The two molecules of oxygen they are combining with one molecule of uh, mo molecular oxygen. So as I said, three molecules of ozone is formed, and it is forming one molecule of uh, ozone. When ozone is broken, the oxygen atom bonds to an oxygen molecule to uh, recreate ozone. So every time it used to happen that. The two molecules of oxygen they are combining with one molecule of molecular oxygen and forming three molecules of oxygen that is the ozone. So this is the continuous process, and ozone is healing by itself in this way. So like this, the ozone combinations you are observing here. Now. So every time, whatever ultraviolet rays are coming, they are breaking oxygen atoms. And in the sense, the molecular oxygen they are separating, and they are combining with the two molecules of oxygen to form one ozone molecule. Each and every time, wherever the ozone is disturbed, wherever the ozone is depleted, there the ozone molecules are synthesizing by themselves and. So despite this, the shield, uh, some ultraviolet still passes through to strike uh, surface. Some of them, here yeah, through the ozone layer, some of the ultraviolet rays they are passing and reaching to the earth. So there, the ultraviolet they are passing through that. And here, the chlorofluoro happens. Man-made molecules common to azotes, refrigerators, coolers. Foam production, they are containing CFCs, that is chlorofluorocarbons. And these chlorofluorocarbons, when they are coming in contact with the oxygen, or that is the ozone, then the ozone molecules are broken and they are separated. And see, the ozone is depleting, the atom is taken, and the atom is transferred to the other place. So as I said, ozone molecule is destroyed. So ozone uh, depletion you are observing, and instead of three molecules of uh, o oxygen, it is becoming two molecules of oxygen. So that the ozone is depleted to oxygen. So in this way, ozone depletion you are observing. The chlorine that removes an oxygen atom from the ozone molecule. The chlorine is free when its oxygen atom bonds with the other one. So it is carrying oxygen, it is attaching, again it is getting free. Again it is going and uh, it will destroy ozone, again the molecule is carried along with it. So in this way, the continuous process you are observing. And because of that, ozone depletion you are observing. The portion of the Earth's atmosphere that absorbs ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Okay, then the lower uh, location is lower stratosphere. That the thinning of the ozone layer because of CFC, the thin layer in this part of the ozone is thinned. This allows more ultraviolet radiation to reach the surface of the Earth. When thinning of the ozone layer is there, more and more ultraviolet rays. They are reaching to the earth and they are hazardous to all organisms. Ultraviolet exposed causes cancer, eye cataracts, 
impacts and immune system harms and harms crop growth, kills oceanic phytoplankton. So all these are the negative effects what we are observing on the earth. So in this way, the ozone depletion it creates a lot of problem. So awareness is required. That. So you people have to. Uh, you don't have to use CFCs. And totally CFC is to be banned. The Americans already they banned. So, dear students, what I have said, this is all about today's. So, this is all about today's class. And here, we studied regarding the ozone. Uh, ozone layer, it's important, how it is important and depletion of ozone layer also you study and today we uh, study something about greenhouse effect and also the importance of ozone. So dear friends, up till today we study the required, what you studied in your previous class, how it is relating with the uh, PUC section we told it to you and we constructed a bridge and here our aim is to connect you from 10th to 11th and 12th and here this greenhouse effect what you discussed already you discussed in 10th class but here in PUC section also you are discussing about the ozone layer so I selected some of the topics the topics which you are knowing from known to unknown, we learn some of the things. Okay? So, as a result, my dear students, the same thing, if you are wishing to continue with us, definitely we are there for you. And here, this year, we got a result in the biology section, if you are taking, we got 79% of result in PUC second year. So, most of the students, they scored very high score. And in this COVID situation also, the students reached up to 79% of the college result. So, my dear students, if suppose you are wishing to continue with us, then definitely come to our college, take your admission and for two years we will learn together. And definitely we teachers are there, Suresh and the Education Foundations, the Amri College of Commerce and Science in this, if suppose you are taking admission, we all teachers are there definitely to help you. And we are conducting CET, NEET, JE, all these classes, we are giving training for competitive exams. Apart from that, the regular exams also you are facing. We are having some tricks, some plans, and if suppose you are learning all these things from us, then definitely I will tell you, you will be very successful in your life. And that we are taking a part, we are participating, and we are just acting like a catalyst, and definitely, whichever is the problem, we are helping you in your future. So, dear friends, we are stopping it here. Thank you, thank you, one and all.